everybody, and welcome back to Fandom Fights. I'm your host, Tim Ricala. Um, I'm very alone here. Uh, I'm in a new setup. I'm in a new strange place. Knock on wood. Hopefully, uh, no more internet problems for old Timmy. Let's hope. Uh, but welcome to a very big match. We have our Fandom Five Way Plan. This is right before the tournament. Uh, this match is going to decide who is getting into the number 31 and 32 seated spots in the fandom summer tournament. So it's going to be very interesting. Uh, the first place finisher tonight will get that 31 seed spot. They will get a win on their record and the second place uh, finisher will get that 32 spot. No win on the record, but no loss either. And then the third, fourth and fifth place competitors, uh, no loss on the record. They will stay at the record they're at and then move on uh, to um, play another match later post-tournament. So it's going to be interesting. We've got a, uh, a lot of interesting people here today. Four of the people who are here today just debuted um, our 0-1, lost in their debut match, but have a chance now to get into the tournament. Um, we have Brittany Tapley. Bridget Colwell, Andrew Barr, Regev Ben Vase, and then uh, our fifth person uh, is just God's gift to humanity because he was able to fill in last minute. We did have a dropout, but Mr. Mike Hanley is going to be playing in the match. Uh, he's also 0 and 1, and he's here to maybe try to maybe try to win. Uh, we'll see what happens, Mike. Uh, very happy that you're here. So let's bring everybody in as I explain the rules. For round number one, the way it is going to work is as follows. There are going to be 10 questions from 10 random categories in the realm of fandom fights. Each question is worth one point a piece. If you get all 10 questions correct, you will be issued a bonus question. Um, you all have three repeats and a challenge for the match. Are there any questions from any of the players as we get started? Oh, okay, perfect. Uh, so remember to keep hands on screen as we do this. Uh, question number one is in the category of Pixar. And the question is, in Toy Story, what is the last present that Andy gets at his birthday party at the start of the film? Uh, this film is a classic, as they say. And... Bridget, I would just lift your board up just a little bit so that nobody sees what you're writing. Just to be safe. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's start with Brittany. Uh, I didn't quite hear you, Brittany, but I saw what you had. Um, uh, Regev? It's a board game. Repeat, Battleship. Uh, Mike? Buzz Lightyear. And Bridget. Buzz Lightyear toy figurine. And Bar. All right. Buzz Lightyear is the correct answer. All right. Buzz Lightyear was correct. So everybody hits that but Regev. Uh, so we'll move on to the next question, which is in fandom quotes. And the question is, what character in Avengers Endgame says... I think you look great, Cap. As far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, that's America's ass. Um, it's the first swear word of the match. I apologize to my mom at home, who I don't think has seen a single one of these videos. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's start with Regev. Ant-Man. And Mike. Ant-Man. Bridget. Ant-Man, Scott Lane. And Barr. My partner would disown me if I didn't get that question right. Ant-Man. And Brittany. Yeah, Ant-Man, Scott Lane. Yes, all correct. Clean sweep as we get into the next question, which is in Middle Earth. <laughs> How does Gandalf escape the top of the Tower of Isengard before heading to Rivendell in the Fellowship of the Ring. Uh, I watched half of this movie today. I bought a new TV today. I'm pretty excited about it. It's a 75 inch TV. It's very large. And I watched half of Fellowship. Uh, I had to stop to do this match, but uh, it's pretty, pretty great. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's start with Mike. Uh, he jumps on a bird like a badass. <laughs> uh, Bridget. Drug. Uh, bar. I said eagle. Um, <laughs> Brittany. I put jumps on an eagle. Um, Regev. He jumps off and lands on an eagle. Oh, man. Uh, wow. Hey, Maggie, can I, can I accept jumps on a bird? <laughs> Because uh, the only thing I have here is uh, is eagles, so I think I think I can accept all the the ones about the eagles and the bird. You're not wrong. I didn't ask you specifically, so yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, you it anyway. So um, uh, that will be going to Bar and to Brittany and to Mike, um, or I'm sorry, and to Regev too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, my bad. I'm sorry. All right, so uh, we'll move on to the next question, which is in the category of DC. In the Dark Knight, who turns themselves in as the Batman during a press conference? Oh, man. Jumps onto a giant bird like a (laughs) badass. Oh boy, that was funny. Okay. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Repeat. All right, that was going to be a repeat for Mike. In the Dark Knight, who turns themselves in as the Batman during a press conference? Um, I really should just like have my phone at the ready for Mr. Nick Tewing to message me for accepting giant bird like a badass but I don't remember I don't know what the hell I did with it so it's gone forever five four three two one pens down uh let's start with Bridget I have a shrug emoji and Bruce Wayne with a lot of question marks um bar Harvey Dent uh Brittany Harvey Dent we're Gav. I guess students. And Mike. Harvey Dent. Harvey Dent is correct. All right, we are moving on to the next question, which is in fandom Oscars. What was the last Marvel film to win an Oscar? And I'm just going to, you know, do one of these little cam off situations and look around for my phone because I have no idea what I. Oh, I found it. I found it. Oh, it's it's Mr. Nick asking me for a link. So maybe he didn't see the giant bird like a badass. We'll get to <laughs> we'll get to talk about that later. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Bar. X Men: Days of Future Past. Uh, Brittany. Believe it's Spider Man into the Spider Verse. Oh, no. Regev. Yes. I guess the end game. Um, Mike. I had Logan. Bridget. Black Panther. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse is the correct answer, so Brittany is the answer one to get that. All right, so the next question is going to be in the category of Mission Impossible. In Mission Impossible Fallout, who helps Luther disarm one of the two bombs at the end of the film? Um, blessed be Mr. Tuig, who's big stats and watching from the comfort of his home, but can't post because his internet is five, four, three. We love him anyway. Two, one. Hands down. Uh, let us start with Brittany. Uh, I just guessed Ethan Hunt. I don't know. Regev. I'm going to piss all the people off. Those movies bore me to sleep. <gasps> Mike Hanley. Ronald McDonald. <laughs> it's a better answer than what I gave. Bridget. 
I don't know. I've never seen him. <laughs> and Bar. Benji? Uh, all incorrect. The answer is Julia. <laughs> Mm. Um, Julia is the correct answer. All right. Your next question is in Wizarding World. Oh, my God. What was the last Wizarding World film where we see a Hogwarts Quidditch match being played? Um, Quidditch is a time. It's a thing. And it scares me. That's a scary game to expect eleven-year-olds to play, but young young Harold did it. Five, four, repeat. Three. All right, that's going to be the first repeat for Regev in the category of Wizarding World. What was the last Wizarding World film where we see a Hogwarts Quidditch match being played? Oh. So, oh my God, Nick is losing his mind, isn't he? Nick's gonna have to wait till the end of round one to get this link. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's start with um, Mike. Order of the Phoenix. And Bridget. Half Blood Prince. Bar. I had Half Blood Prince, and I changed it to Order of the Phoenix. And Brittany. Half Blood Prince. Yeah! And Regev. Harry Potter and Half Blood Prince. Half Blood Prince is the correct answer. All right. The next question is in Planet of the Apes. In Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. What does baby Cornelius find in Carver's bag that starts a fight between Carver and Blue Eyes? All right. Now I can go in. Let's do this link real quick. This is riveting content. I know you guys are all really enjoying it. Of course. <laughs> big, big ass eagle will still be. <laughs> Or big ass bird, or whatever you say. Like a badass. <laughs> it was like a, like a badass. Five, My four, God. three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's start with Bridget. I don't know. Um, bar. I said a gun. And Brittany. I just guessed a candy bar. <laughs> and Regev. I only saw the first five. A gun. And Mike. Gun. A gun is correct. Sometimes guessing works. Your next question is in Horror Icons. Where is Lori the first time she sees Michael in 1978's Halloween? And I need a general answer. Don't need to be too specific. And this movie is pretty good, if I do say so myself. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with uh, Mr. Barr. I'm going to kick myself for this. I just did the sidewalk. And Brittany. I said broad, so I put school. And Regev. Also broad, a camp. And Mike, school, and Bridget. The street. School is what we're looking for, specifically the classroom in a school, but I would just accept school. So uh, Brittany gets that, and Mike gets that. Uh, as we get to the final question of round number one, which is in the category of Star Trek. How many Star Trek films does the character of Uhura appear? Fuck it. Um, Star Trek is a category that I still don't love, but I've grown to like a little bit more every time I watch it. Insurrection still sucks. Five, yeah. 
four. That's just your opinion, <laughs> man. Two, one, pens down. Uh, let's start with Brittany. I said nine. And Regev. Nine! And Mike. I had six. Fuck. And Bridget. Fifteen. <laughs> and Bar. I figured there must be one I'm forgetting, so I said ten. The answer is nine. Nine Damn. is the correct answer. So uh, with that, at the end of round number one, uh, we have Brittany in the lead with eight. Uh, followed by Mike Hanley and the fuck out of here. Six. <laughs> and uh, Bar behind with five, Bridget with three. So uh, we are going to get into me. I said you, you're tied. You and Mike have six. You and Mike both have six. So uh, okay. let's get into round number two. Here's how it's going to work it's going to be the wheel round. It's going to be interesting, lots of moving stuff. So here's how it's going to work I'm going to bring up the wheel. Each player is going to get a chance to spin the wheel. Um, five questions worth two points apiece. Unless you go to multiple choice, then it will be worth one. Um, there is stealing in this round. So the way that's going to work in this big match is if a player chooses or answers a question incorrectly, and I say that a steal is available, the players who are not answering from that category will write their answer to the steal on their board and then you will get about five seconds to write that down, and then I will get steal opportunities uh, from everybody. I will go around and call on people uh, need be for stealing. Um, any questions about how round two is going to work for this match? Okay, so uh, the categories on the wheel are YA Dystopia, Star Trek, MCU, Marvel, Disney Animation, Wizarding World, Scores and Soundtracks, Middle Earth, Star Wars, and Pixar, and Spinners and Opponents' Choice. If it were to land on Opponents' Choice, the players uh, would have to come to an agreement on what to give the person who spun Opponents. So, um, Brittany, you are in the lead. Would you like to spin, or you could defer to Regev? I'll defer. All right, Regev, you can now choose to spin, or you can defer to Mike. I came here to answer questions, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> so you're going now? Yeah. Okay, sounds good. So this is going to be the spin for Regev. It lands on Disney Animation. Would you like to keep it or spin again? I'll take it. All right. So, your questions in Disney Animation. Are you ready? Affirmative. All right, your first question. What animal does the water spirit appear as in Frozen 2? A horse. That is correct. For two points. The second question. What two... Uh, I'm sorry. Which 2000s Disney animated film features animals such as a T-Rex and a frog being mind-controlled? The tragically underrated Meet the Robinsons. Uh, that is just an opinion, man. But yes, that's <laughs> correct for two points. <laughs> All right. Your next question, Regev. Who is the only voice actor to appear in both The Lion King and Oliver and Company? Five, four, multiple choice. All right. Your options are A, Cheech Marin, B, Whoopi Goldberg, C, James Earl Jones, D, Matthew Broderick. Does he have Simba right there? Jesus. <laughs> Five, four, three. Cheech Marin? That is correct for one point. I couldn't remember his name, but I knew it was him. All right, Regev, your fourth question. In Beauty and the Beast, Chip is what kind of object? Does a mug count? 
a cup, mug. I need a final answer. Cup, final answer. That is correct for two points. Just not sure on the correct term. All right. And your final question. How many children do Bambi and Faleen have at the end of Bambi? Dos. That is correct for two points. All right. So Regev gets his total up to 15. So, Brittany, we move back to you. Would you now like to spin or defer to Mike? Uh, I'll defer. All right. Mike, would you like to go or defer to Bar? This is the end of me answering questions right anyways. Let's go. Let's get it over with. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. So this is going to be the spin for Mr. Hanley. And it lands on Star Wars. Would you like to keep it or spin again? Let's spin it again. All right. This is what you are going to be stuck with. Lance on a YA dystopia. Okay. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> I think these are your favorite movies, buddy. All right. Uh, are you ready, Mike, for your questions in YA dystopia? I guess so. All right. Which YA dystopia film features the characters Tigress? Lieutenant Jackson and Commander Paylor. Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Allegiant, B, Mockingjay Part 2, C, Insurgent, D, The Scorch Trials. Scorch Trials. That is incorrect. Everybody else chance for a one-point steal, so write your answer on your board, and then I will go around in five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Brittany, we will start with you. I uh, put B. And Regev. Had A, Allegiant. And Bridget. Mocking J Part 2. And Bar. Damn, I said C. Mockingjay Part 2 is correct. <clears throat> All right, next question for Mike. Who is the last person to enter the glade in the Maze Runner? Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck? The name? <laughs> Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Thomas, B, Newt, C, Galley, D, Teresa. Teresa. That is correct for one. All right, your next question. Who plays Eric, a villainous leader within Dauntless in Divergent? A villainous leader. Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Jai Courtney, B, Theo James, C, Michael B. Jordan, D, Miles Teller. Jai Courtney. That is correct for one point. Right. Your fourth question. What type of animals attack the group and kill a morphling in Hunger Games Catching Fire? Shit. Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, monkeys, B, birds, C, tigers, D, alligators. Monkeys. That is correct for one point. And your final question. In Allegiant, we find out that the main city that the Divergent series takes place in is actually a dystopian version of what U.S. city? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Los Angeles, B, Chicago, C, Miami, D, New Orleans. Los Angeles. That is incorrect. Everyone Perfect. else, chance for a one point steal. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, Brittany, we will start with you. 
uh, Chicago, I believe. We have Chicago. Uh, Bridget. Chicago. And Barr. Chicago. Chicago is correct. All right, so at the end of Mike's turn, he gets his total up to nine. Uh, so we will move on. Uh, Brittany, we go to you again. Would you like to spin now or defer to Mr. Barr? I'll go. All right. So this is going to be the spin for Brittany. And it lands on Pixar. Would you like to keep it or spin again? I'll keep it. All right, keeping Pixar. All right, your first question. In Ratatouille, Remy dreams of becoming a what? Chef. That is correct, for two points. Your next question. Who directed Wall-E? Andrew Stanton. That is correct for two points. Your next question. What does Sully keep on his clipboard along with a drawing that Boo gave him in Monsters, Inc.? A piece of her door. That is correct for two points. Masterful filmmaking. Um, your next question. How do Barley and Ian make rocks fall to block the police from getting to them in Onward? I think I know, but I'm going to go multiple choice just to be safe. All right, your options are A, use a lightning spell. B, use an earthquake spell. C, use a gelatinous cube. D, crash the van. B is in boy. That is incorrect. Everyone else, chance for a one-point steal. Can I get those options again? Yes, you can. The options are A, use a lightning spell. B, use an earthquake spell. C, use a gelatinous cube. D, crash the van. Two, one. Regev, we will start with you. Rest in peace, Guinevere. Crush the van. Mike. Damn, I had A. And Bridget. D. Crash the van. Long live Guinevere. And Bar. <laughs> Guinevere two. D. That is correct. Crash the van is correct. Uh, so, uh, Brittany, we will now move on to your final question, I believe. Yes, final question. What possession of Miguel's does his grandmother destroy, causing him to run away at the beginning of Coco? His guitar. That is correct. For two points. All right. So, uh, Brittany gets her total up to 18. So we now move over to Bar. Bar, would you like to spin? I'll bring in your manager. Or would you like to defer to Bridget? Honestly, Ethan, most of my good categories are gone now. Uh, so I would rather defer. Sure. All right, we're going to defer. And real quick, my internet went a little wonky. Do you mind if I just refresh? Yeah, go ahead. All right, so you guys are deferring. So this will be the spin for Bridget. All right, Bridget, your spin is in. And it lands on Marvel, regular Marvel. Would you like to keep that or spin again? Spin again. All right. This is what you are stuck with. Please be good. Lands on opponent's choice. So uh, the other players uh, will get to decide what to give to Bridget. The options that you have are... Uh, Star Trek, MCU, Marvel, Wizarding World, Scores and Soundtracks, Middle Earth, or Star Wars. Um, and if you do not decide in the next minute, she will get a, a respin. So uh, you have to decide. I already had my category. What about you? 
So, Trek, Wizarding World, Middle Earth, Scores and Soundtracks, Star Wars. What's the other one I'm missing? I'll pull it. You can look at it. Oh, thank you. You, I think. What? I think you missed it. The, that's the one. Oh, oh MCU you know, and Marvel. Yeah. That's the other yeah. one I missed. She passed on Marvel. Yeah, I mean it's pretty. I know that I've been last. I'm not opposed to Marvel. Yeah, <laughs> I'm fine with that. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm fifty-fifty on that. Okay. Okay. All right, Ethan. Well, what do you think? I think let's good. do it. All right, cool. <laughs> Marvel. Yeah. Here. All right. And thank you, Mike, for contributing a lot. <laughs> All right, Bridget, I will give you your questions in Marvel. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, your first question. In The Amazing Spider-Man, the lizard finds out that Peter is Spider-Man because of what possession of Peter's? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, a satchel, B, a camera, C, a scrapbook, D, a cell phone. B, camera. That is correct for one point. Your next question. What is the name of the device used to erase memory in the Men in Black series? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, the denutralizer, B, the erasure, C, the neuralizer, D, the amnesiator. C? That is correct for one point. Your next question. In Kick-Ass, Dave and his friends often hang out at a cafe that is also a store that sells what? Multiple choice. Your options are A, shoes, B, handbags, C, garden tools, D, comic books. Comic books, D? That is correct for one. Your next question. What type of dog does Eggsy select during training in Kingsman the Secret Service? A pug. That is correct for two points. And your final question. What is the profession of Joe Pantolino's character, Ben Urich, in Daredevil? Multiple choice. Your options are A, a news anchor, B, taxi driver, C, reporter, D, lawyer. D, lawyer? That is incorrect. Everyone else, chance for a one point steal. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, Brittany. I put C. And Regev. He's a reporter. And uh, Mike. C. And bar. Reporter. Reporter is correct. All right. So we are to the final person who needs to spin. That would be Mr. Bar. So we'll mm -hmm. bring in his manager and the wheel. And. Oh, sorry. That's right. This is the worst possible outcome for me, buddy. <laughs> nah, you got this. Okay. This is the spin for you, Bar. And that is a free spin. Woo! I'll take it. Yeah, get a few of those. Dodge that bullet. Lands on scores and soundtracks. I'm cool with this, Ethan. Let's do it. All right, let's go. All right. Keeping scores and soundtracks. Scorsese's and Source in 6 6. All right. Your first question, Mr. Barr. Michael Kamen composed the score for which Marvel film? Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Blade, B, Ghost Rider, C, X-Men, D, Venom. X-Men. That is correct for one point. Your next question. Which Disney live-action musical features the songs Nowhere to Go But Up and The Place Where Lost Things Go? 
Mary Poppin return Mary Poppins returns. That is correct for two points. Who composed the score to Supergirl? Oh. Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Jerry Goldsmith, B, James Horner, C, Leonard Rosenman, D, Tyler Bates. Gary Goldsmith. That is correct for one point. All right, your next question. How many Middle Earth films has Howard Shore composed? Oh, I'm, sp oh, I'm split between two. Five. Four. Repeat. Three. Okay, that's going to be Barr's first repeat. How many Middle Earth films has Howard Shore composed? Can I get a score update? You have 12. 12. Okay, thank you. And the lead is 19. Um, so I'm going to say... Four. Multiple choice. Be safe. Your options are A, 4, B, 5, C, Six D seven. Well, I know it's not one of them. Let's go with six. That is correct for okay. one point. Which one did you know it's not by <laughs> seven? There's seven Middle Earth films. I know there are, but the other one was like before him, so he wasn't alive back then. All right, your final question in scores and soundtracks. Who sings the title song for the Bond film GoldenEye? GoldenEye. Oh. Hmm. Multiple choice. All right, your options are A, Gladys Knight, B, Madonna, C, Carly Simon, D, Tina Turner. Tina Turner. That is correct for one point. All right, we are done with round number two. Here's where we're at. Uh, Brittany is in the lead with 19. Regev close behind with 18. Uh, then we have Bridget, or I'm sorry, then we have uh, Barr with 14, Bridget with 11, and Mike with 10. Uh, so we are going to move on to round number three. It's the betting round. Here's how it's going to work. I am going to say a category, then you guys are going to write on your board how much you want to bet between zero, one, and two. If you get the question right, you gain those points. If you get the question wrong, you lose those points. Uh, we will play uh, through all five questions for the sake of this match. So, uh, unless it becomes really mathematically impossible. But, um, okay, any questions? Nope. Okay, uh, Bar, you have two repeats left. Bridget, Brittany... You have uh, all three, and Regev and Mike, you have two as well. So uh, the first category that you guys will be able to bet points on is going to be the Marvel Cinematic Universe the MCU. So decide if you want to bet zero, one, or two. Andrew, uh, I'm between brisket and pastrami. See, brisket sounds really good right now. It does I'd go you send me one. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to go brisket. Go brisket, okay. I think oh. I know what one of those are. <laughs> All right, let's get back starting with Brittany. Uh, I did two. All right, Brittany going two. And then Regev. Same. All right, and Mike. Only time I'm going to have double digits, I'm not losing it. Zero. <laughs> and <Brittany. laughs> Two. All right, and bar. I said one. All right. Here is the question in the MCU. Which MCU film features the book of Cagliostro? Damn it. 
I almost said that wrong. I still said it a little wrong, but not as wrong as it could have been. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let's start with Brittany. That'd be Doctor Strange. And Regev. Doctor Strange. And uh, Mike. Doctor Strange. And Bridget. Doctor Strange. And Bar. Should have went with Pastrami. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Doctor Strange is correct. Uh, so. Brittany goes up to 21, Regev 20, um, Barr with 15, Bridget with 13, and Mike stays at 10. The next category is regular Marvel. You always go with Pastrami Bander. <laughs> That's true. Um, this one? I'm thinking Liverwurst. Hmm. Okay, if you're feeling good, yeah. If you feel good with liverwurst, then you go with that. I, I, you won't feel good after. <laughs> All right, you good? Yeah. All right, let's get bets starting with uh, Brittany. Two. All right. And Regev? What would one this time? All right. And uh, Mike? Zero. Okay. Uh, and Bridget. I'm also going for a spicy zero. Okay. Uh, and Bar. That's the spicy zero. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. So uh, the only people betting are the ones who are very much in the lead. So uh, we will. We will <laughs> say have something to lose here. Here. Uh, here is the question. At the beginning of the Wolverine. Logan kills what kind of wounded animal in order to put it out of its misery? I like this movie a lot. People complain about the third act. I think it's I. Uh, I, I agree with that. I like the movie a lot. The unrated extended version is pretty good. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let us start with Mike. A pink dragon. Bar. I said a deer. Bridget. I also said a deer. Uh, Brittany. I think it's a bear. And Regev. A deer? The answer is a bear. Uh, so Brittany hits that, goes up to 23. Regev loses a point, goes down to 19. Everyone else bet zero, so they stay at 15, 13, and 10, respectively. As we get into the next question, which is in YA dystopia, Ethan, it's not not even not even a question. We're we're <laughs> we're gonna go with pork belly. Okay, I was gonna suggest that. All the foods that you can eat. All right, let's get that starting with Brittany. I'm not risking. I'm going zero. All right, and Regev. I'm playing it smart. All right. And Mike? You have to ask zero. Are you going to go zero the rest of the game? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, Two. All right. And Bob. Like nine if you can. Zero. <laughs> so the Let's only go. person betting is, is Bridget. Uh, all right. Here's the question in YA Dystopia. The question is. How does Jansen kill Ava Page in Maze Runner, The Death Cure? Brittany looked at me like I just said a bunch of words she didn't understand. <laughs> well, I'm at zero. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Regev, we'll start with you. The flirting flouse. Uh, Brittany. It's pretty shoot, sir. Mike. He throws her to the fucking wolves. Bar. That would be badass. I said he infects her. <laughs> and Bridget. Shooting her with a gun. 
Oh, that shit. is correct. Shoots her is correct. So Bridget gets two points. Uh, that easy? So Brittany, I was going to guess that, but I bet zero anyway, so what do I care? <laughs> uh, stats. Uh, Brittany, uh, you have 23. Regev with 19. Barr and Bridget are tied at 15. Mike has 10, and I don't think that's Yeah, it. Mike. Yeah. So yeah. The next category that you guys can bet points on is going to be Mission Impossible. Ooh, Gherkin. You think so? I mean, it's eh, Gherkin or Capers. I'm leading Gherkin. Yeah, I guess. Good, Ethan? Yes, thank you. All right, let's get bets starting with Brittany. And I'm not going to risk it, zero. Okay. And uh, Regev. One, I guess. All right. And uh, Mike. It's impossible for me to lose points, zero. Okay. Uh, Bridget. A spicy zero. And uh, Bar. I mean, fortune favors the bold, right? That is what they say. All right. Um, so the question in Mission Impossible is, how many Mission Impossible films feature the character Ilsa Faust? Uh, the curse of the betting round is getting questions right when you bet zero or you don't bet enough. Uh, my last singles match was like that. Could have won. I didn't bet enough and it hurt. Uh, but that's okay. That's how it be. Nick Tuig made fun of me after. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Uh, let us begin with, uh, let's go to Brittany. Uh, I think it's two. And Mike. Said two. Bridget. I brought back my little shruggy guy. Okay, uh, let's go to Regev. Three. And um, Bar. Two. Two is correct. All right, we are in a very interesting situation here. Um, Brittany has locked first place um, at 23 points. But uh, Regev losing that, missing that question goes down to 18. Bar has 17. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so it's very close for the second place finisher. Um, and if they, Bridget could get in there as well if they bet and miss. So there's lots of things that could happen here. The final category that you guys can bet points on is Disney live action. <sighs> I'm thinking prosciutto. Yes. Okay. We're always thinking prosciutto. All right. Good, Ethan? Yep. All right. So let's get bets, starting with Brittany. Uh, no reason to anything, so I just put <laughs> zero. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, I was a little worried. Uh, so, uh, Regev. One for all the marbles. All right. Uh, Mike. Locking it in. Zero points. Yeah, okay. Mike. <laughs> Bridget. I thought, why not? Let's go to. Making things interesting. I like it. And Bar. Two for the show. All right. So this is going to be a very interesting question. Let's see what happens. Uh, the question is, Tess Coleman, who switches places with her daughter, Anna, in Freaky Friday, has what occupation? Oof. We could see the second place switch on this. Lots of variables happening here. Five, four, three. Repeat the question. Oh. All right. I heard Regev first. So the question again. Tess Coleman who switches places with her daughter, Anna, in Freaky Friday, has what occupation? And on another note, this movie slaps. Uh, this is one of those early uh, 2000s Disney live-action movie that I like. I like this one. Might be the nostalgia, but I don't know. Yeah. Five, <laughs> four, three, repeat. Two. All right, repeat from Bar. Tess Coleman, 
who switches places with her daughter Anna in Freaky Friday has what occupation? Five, four, three, two. I'll use my last one. All right, your last repeat. Tess Coleman, who switches places with her daughter Anna in Freaky Friday, has what occupation? The question is, will Mike Hanley get this right? <laughs> I think that's what we all want to know. Five. Not really. Four. <laughs> three. Two. One. Pens down. All right, Mike, we're starting with you. I had no idea. Marketing executive. Uh, let's go to Brittany. I believe she's a psychiatrist. And we'll go to Gav. I said museum curator. And Bridget. I said lawyer. And Barr. I think, I think Brittany was right. So I said lawyer. So. And your winner. Brittany Tapley, uh, that is, the correct answer was uh, psychologist, therapist, uh, was the correct answer. Uh, so very close game there for the second place spot. Um, Brittany pulls out uh, first place. We're going to start by talking to her. I'm going to just do the little switch. Ah, it doesn't matter. Brittany, you came in first, 23 points. You got to bet zero on the last, like, four questions or yeah. three questions. <laughs> Um, you're now in the tournament. You're in the 31 seed. How are you feeling about the way you played today? Uh, really good. Try not to beat myself up over the onward question, but like I kind of surprised myself in round three. I could have bet on some of those questions, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's how round three B is. Uh, yeah. you know, you, you think, you know, or you think, you know, what's going to happen or you question yourself in a category and then you wind up knowing it. That's yeah. how it happens sometimes, but you played really great. You had a great round one, eight points Thank in round you. one. You did great in Pixar yeah. and a great round three. So, uh, it's going to be very exciting to see, uh, what you can do in the tournament. Um, I'm really excited. Even you played great in your first match. Uh, and then to come over and now have a pretty commanding win here is awesome. So we will see you in the tournament. Uh, is there anybody that you hope to kind of like meet up with in the tournament? Is there anybody, I know last time you didn't know a lot of names or anything. Have you brushed up on anything? You know, anybody I mean, you want to play? There's a few people, but honestly, the only people I know are really, really good. So I don't really know if I want to meet them. I'm going to be meeting them anyway because I'm playing like what the second ranked person. <laughs> we'll be playing the number two seed. Yeah. So yeah, the, that will be, uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll get the whole bracket revealed pretty soon here. Um, but I'm very excited to see what you do in the tournament. So we will see you very soon uh, with that match. Let's go over to the uh, second place finisher, uh, Regev. You came in second place. Uh, you missed the last question, but so did Barr. Uh, very close there. Um, how are you feeling about the way you played today? Um, you took Disney Animation and did very well in it. Uh, what are your thoughts? Because of what you just said, I'm kind of kicking myself over the first question. I misunderstood the question. I thought you meant the present he was given before his mom gave him Buzz Lightyear, and that's the only reason I... And if I didn't, if I got that question correctly, I wouldn't have been in the situation that I was at the end where yeah. I was hanging by a thread, hoping that he, hoping against hope that uh, uh, Bar will miss. And also maybe one of these days I got to learn to start, to start watching those Mission Impossible movies without falling asleep. I watched the first five. The only one I got through all the way through the end was the first. Oh, they're so good. They're so good. Give them, a, give them another shot. But uh, you are in the tournament now, in the 32 seed spot. Um, how are you feeling about uh, the tournament, playing in the tournament? Well, I said to myself before the match started, I don't need to win this. I just need to get in second place. That's all I really cared about. And eventually I did it, and I'm proud of myself for at least edging out that victory. And as far as the tournament, well, I'm a battering ram. You point me in the right direction, and I go straight but you just got to have to point me in the right direction i don't care who who goes up against me i'll cross that bridge when i get to it awesome all right well we'll see you very soon 
in the tournament. Uh, let's go over to the uh, third place finisher, which was Mr. Barr. Mr. Barr, uh, had you hit that last question, you would have been the second place finisher, but that's how it'd be sometime. You had a really good comeback there in round number three. It was looking like you were going to, you were going to make it, but um, what, how are you feeling about the match? Not bad, honestly. Um, like, in that last moment, I had to take the risk because I I kind of figured that he was going to bet one, so I was hoping to check kind of like leapfrog. Um, but honestly, like I I, I, I do okay in fandom, um, so I'm just glad that you know I got the amount of points that I did. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you will probably get another match. I don't know when. I think later this season. I'm not in charge of that stuff. I just I just host and write questions. So, uh, but I'm excited to see you back soon. Beller, any thoughts about the match? Yeah, I mean, first of all, Brittany killed it. She's a really good geek, and she she killed her fan. Yeah. So. Um, and uh, yeah, Andrew is you know he's gonna come back. He's gonna keep playing, and uh, we're just here to make up food codes in round three. That's what we're here off to the do. top of our heads. They yeah, and that's you know that's why we we show up. So it was fun. Yeah. Uh, real quick, um, congratulations to everyone. Um, you guys did a great job. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, let's move over to Bridget. Bridget, you came in fourth place. Uh, you got stuck with opponent's choice. I think that's what it's uh, Yeah, you I sure did. Today. You got stuck with opponent's choice, but you played well overall in that round. I think you hit four of the five questions. Yeah. Um, how um, are you I, I, I guessed on a lot of them. Except for Kingsman. Oh yeah, you got that was a Marvel movie. movie. It is but, um, technically. That's cool. I did get a high heart rate notification right at the start of that round on my watch. Uh oh. So that was fun. <laughs> Woof. Uh, no, you played great. Um, I'm excited to see you come back. Hopefully, if you would like to, we would like to have you come back and get yeah. another. Yeah, yeah, totally. Um, I just I'm busy, uh, yeah. but summer's coming. It's true. And then I'll only have a job to worry about, not school. That's true. Any thought about uh, coming and playing in teams or or anything like that? I'm down for whatever. Awesome. Just like put me where you need me. I'm down. Awesome. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Well, uh, congrats on a game well played. We are now going to move over to the last place finisher who could have had more points. <laughs> We had that more than zero on every final question. I think you, so you hit Doctor Strange. Uh, you hit Shootser. You hit two. Mike, you could have had 16 points. Look, I could have been taming lions in Russia, but I came here to get my 10 points, my double digits, and I got that. It was awesome. But, Tim, I have a question for you. Yes. Do you like movies? Yes. Do you like great fucking movies? I do. Then go watch great fucking movies with Mike Hanley. This is why I'm here. Awesome. And buy the shit at the video store. Yes, buy our shit. We get $2. Mazzaro needs his 4K TV. We need a lot of shirts. <laughs> okay, Mike, thank you for filling in last minute. It was great having you. Uh, that's going to be the show. Thank you guys for watching this five-way play-in for fandom. And... Uh, be on the lookout because uh, things are about to get spicy with the uh, with the tournament. It's going to get pretty crazy. Uh, coming up the rest of the weekend, we have the two title matches. I totally know who's playing in those because we're totally not filming this ahead of time. But the title matches are dropping this weekend, and then next week we'll start the Summer Series tournament. So uh, be on the lookout for all those matches. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, for all of the players and the uh, manager, Ethan, uh, and myself and Nick behind the scenes virtually helping me out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. We are so glad you came. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Bye. Bye-bye. Remember, please discard all candy wrappers and popcorn containers in the nearest trash receptacle. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Are they all gone? Uh, is, is there is everybody gone? <laughs> huh? Good.